Calibrating the system. Connect the audio interface to the iPhone. Ensure there are no other audio apps running on the device. Launch the app and set the output volume slider to maximum. Connect the output of the audio interface to the input using a loopback cable. The app will automatically measure and display the local RTL. Disconnect the loopback cable. Measuring eDrum latency. Disconnect the drum pad cable and connect it to the output of the audio interface. Confirm that the module is receiving the trigger pulse. If needed, adjust the output volume of the app and or the sensitivity setting on the drum module. Connect the drum module output to the input of the audio interface. Adjust module output volume and or audio interface gain knob until you get only solid white dots on the hit flow monitor. Aim for the highest possible levels. At this stage, the eDrum latency meter app should be displaying results. The average latency is shown in white and the jitter deviation in green. A graphical representation is also available. Wait for a couple of hundred measurements for reliable readout. Tap the Refresh button every time you adjust a setting on the drum module. This will restart the measurement cycle.